My little brother's about to choose his options. So he asked advice from me. Asked me what he should pick. I said, it depends what you want to be. Well, what can I be? It can be anything you like. No, I can't, he says. I'm starting to think that he might be right. Because now, if he wants to go on to a higher education, that it'll come at a cost. He's literally got to higher education. Like it's a commodity, a monopoly. We're being forced to buy knowledge. And next we'll be sending students for lessons at I College, where they'll put a chip in your brain that retains information, charge you well over the odds and blame it on inflation. Then a year later you can pay to upgrade to a brand new model that does exactly the same. But they'll claim this one's better when it's just slightly less big. But if you want a better memory, get the 64 gig. You can be smart if you like, you just got to spend a bit. Leaving I College with I Knowledge but no jobs at the end of it. And they wonder why our impulse is to protest and get charged up when there's large cuts and they've put the charge up to nine grand a year for degrees. Next they'll be charging our impulse, call it intuition fees. So keep on demonstrating, remonstrate and bombard them with the same chance. So they realise everyone should be given the same chance. The same access to top level English and maths. Not just someone who comes from square roots, but for someone who graphs. Because our rights right now are divided by class. Why should some schools come minus the staff while a small fraction are given the better opportunities and occasions? Parents' earnings when learning shouldn't come into the equation because through these hard times, remember, we're all equals. So why is this problem not being solved and still recurring? Now, if only they stick to the promises, that'd be amazing. Remember when they promised they wouldn't scrap EMAs and it turns out it was all just lies? Were they on drugs at the time? Because when pupils are almost double the size in state school classrooms than they are in private education, how do you expect the working classes to exceed expectations to graduate and go on to achieve wealth in a system when they're bound by the system itself that relies on an age of uneducated wage slaves to conform and consume and shut their mouth? Because they know that the smarter we get, we'll suss them out. How they all work in cooperation with big corporations who don't care about what's fair on the nation because the fact is they all dodge paying taxes and yet, if you close those loopholes, you could wipe student debt. You could use that money on people with health issues to treat them. You could use that money to help house the homeless and feed them, to provide a shelter and food for those who have not eaten. Now that's what I call a charity, not eaten. So what will happen when my brother's paid his way through uni and college? Will he be sat sending countless applications, not one acknowledged, saying they better read my cover letter, I swear they'll see these. Say they better read my skill set, I swear they'll see these. So when my little brother asked me, what do I suggest? Because I don't want to see him grow up with the stress and get depressed, saying, Tom, I've got all this debt hanging over me then walk in the garage to find him, hanging over me. So for the first time in my life this year, I'm grabbing my coat, running to that polling station and exercising my right to vote.